read you the quote that's grinding my gears this beautiful afternoon, okay? <clears throat> if you come to an agreement with the team that, hey, it's probably best for us to part ways, that's one thing. But the Anthony Davis stuff was really kind of groundbreaking and hopefully not a trend because it's bad for the league. <laughs> that like, you know, every once in a while that are just kind of like, okay. But this one literally sent me over the edge, okay? This man is crying because he has an issue with, uh, you know, players demanding trades in the league, okay? And it's bad for the league. Let me tell you why that's BS, okay? And let me tell you why Steve Kerr needs to stay in his lane, okay? The whole bad for the league thing that he wrapped that up with is a red herring, okay? That's not really what he's upset about. He named Anthony Davis by name because he's worried about the Lakers because now they're an actual threat, okay? You can say whatever you want about their lineup past LeBron and, you know, Kuzma and Anthony Davis, but they're a legitimate threat now, okay? They have two of the top five players in the league, okay? They're serious, all right? And Steve Kerr doesn't like that, okay? He's saying the whole league to distract you from what his actual point is. And I say this because did you see him make a peep at the beginning of this season or last season, at the beginning of the last season when Jimmy Butler demanded a trade from the Timberwolves, okay, and got shipped out to Philly? Mm -mm. And did you, and did, in this most recent uh, free agency cycle, did you see him make any qualms about Paul George demanding a trade? Uh, to go to the sign a long-term deal with the LA Clippers or even Russell Westbrook doing the same thing mm -mm. No, nope. check check under your collar Steve. I feel some sweat coming in You know why because now you know your reign of terror and dominance is over because now there isn't just one Dominant team in LA. Okay, there's three good to great teams. Okay, your team the Warriors all right, the Clippers and the Lakers, okay? Which in my opinion, pose the biggest threat to you. That's your problem, Steve Kerr. And you're also worried that now you might actually have to coach, okay? Because, you know, you could sit, it's easy, it's easy to pretend to be a hardworking coach when you have two of the greatest free throw, uh, three, two of the greatest three point shooters of all time on your squad, Draymond Green, who is, exquisite defender year in, year in and year out, and the heart and nucleus of that team. You acquired Boogie Cousins in free agency, and, oh, sorry, I'm forgetting this kind of big one. You had Kevin Durant on your team. Second greatest player on the planet today, okay? It's easy, it's easy to fake the funk and act like, you know, you're a pretty good coach and you just let the guys play. Yeah, because you don't have to do much. And you have to integrate D-Lo whose personality and game style is basically the antithesis of, you know, the DNA of Golden State, all right? I think he'll be fine, but you have to worry about integrating that now, okay? So you're sweating a little bit, Steve Kerr. You're sweating, and you sound jealous, okay? And Steve Kerr annoys me because he always makes little smart little quips and then just kind of, you know, oh, you know what I mean? He's the type of person that'll throw rocks and hide his hands, all right? That's Steve Kerr. And I'm beginning to see why, all right, Michael Jordan decked you, okay, because you have a smart mouth. Stay in your lane. Worry about what you're doing there in Oakland now, okay, guys, that's where you're at. Worry about Oakland and leave <laughs> what the Lakers are doing to them, all right? Worry about coaching your team, Steve Kerr, because you sound very hypocritical. Because when you were in the catbird seat, when you were top dog, you weren't complaining about parity in the league and players moving in and out, okay? You weren't worried about that. And let me tell you something. I'm so glad that the greatest play basketball player of all time, LeBron James, 
has created a culture in the NBA in which players take control of their own destiny, okay? Because the same thing Anthony Davis did to the Pelicans in moving when he wanted to, right? He, the Pelicans, if he wasn't producing, if they felt like it, even if he was great, could have done the same thing to him, okay? You never see these coaches or these analysts or whoever complaining when teams just kind of shift players off when they're kind of done with them, okay? You never see that happening. But when a player takes control of his or her own destiny, okay, it becomes a problem. Get out of here, Steve Kerr. Stay in your lane and mind your own business. You had a nice run. Go out gracefully. Thank you guys so much for watching me go off on Steve Kerr. Let me know if you agreed with it, okay? Let me know what your thoughts are. I think Steve Kerr is being a whiny little baby and a bit of a hypocrite, okay? And he's annoying. See you in the next video.